Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Dirty Rob from the Gazelle Sports Dirty Herd and the West Michigan Trail Runners here with a new shoe review. And this week, a shoe and a company that I dearly love and I'm very excited about what's new for them because the new round of shoes are awesome. But this week, we're starting with my favorite from them, the Lone Peak 2.0 from Ultra. Fantastic shoe, very good company. I love what they're doing. I've mentioned before how much I love a more minimal drop shoe. I love the zero drop of the shoe. I love that I can't feel every stick and rock when I want to run long. Uh, I'm a big fan of what they've done with this with this model, but let's get into it. So you've got a little flat lace, awesome. They keep the shoe tied, fantastic. I love the little plastic tabs on the midfoot, whether this, whether this is the cut or the outsole or the midsole, I'm not sure what they did, but the midfoot is way better, way more comfortable, way more locked in. So for the now, I'm gonna say it's because these little tabs they put along the eyelets, whoops, along the eyelets, right there. Um, Wish the tongue was a little bit longer, and I do wish they added the back eyelet to help lock in those of us with slightly skinny heels, but minor complaint. There's so much padding here, which is good and bad, my heel stays locked in. So, uh, upper, abrasion resistant mesh, almost completely seamless, super comfortable. Sadly, they got rid of the call out to their home named Mountain Range, or the shoe they named it in honor of, but I love the fit of this, way better than previous versions. Uh, they have a nice synthetic overlay toe cap for protection, a nice little rubber tip right on the end, so not going to you know, add a lot of weight and give you protection where you need it. Still have the gator trap in the back, which I particularly love. I know a lot of people trash it. I think it's awesome. Uh, if you're going to run anything out west, anything gritty, dirty, you want to wear a gator, and having this there is great. So upper is fantastic. Um, like I said, the heel counter could be a little less padded to save some weight, but I know their heels are particularly usually kind of wide even my slightly skinny heel if they stay you know pretty locked in so again minor complaint I'm sure they're gonna work on it because everyone's talking about it so good uh, midsole outsole double layer EVA one on top of and one below their stone guard you've got the a bound on top regular EVA in the bottom and the trail glow on the bottom awesome job super comfortable uh, it's a 26 millimeter stack height now. It's a little taller than the previous version, which I also like. They've kind of separated the, the, the shoes a little more by, uh, by millimeters, so it's a little more clearly defined between the Superior, uh, the Lone Peak, and the Olympus. So, nice job, Ultra. Uh, trail claw outsole, love it. Super versatile. I'm a, not super in love that the lugs have gotten smaller, and so now you can't put any ice bikes into them. But, minor complaint. Uh, you could say that the new outsole is better than the old ones. They don't need the ice bikes, but uh, I haven't had a chance to test it really thoroughly on ice or in snow since spring in Michigan now. Um, but for the most part, love the shoe. Great shoe. Uh, great job, Ultra. Love the progress you're making. Keep up the good work. Keep listening to your public. Um, overall, I can give it the best compliment I can give it. It's going to have a permanent spot in my trunk for the year, uh, right next to my Peregrines uh, and others that will be remain to be seen. So that is all. Thanks. I'm out. Until next time, I'm Dirty Rob.